Yo, JD here, Tyrell Lewis, and as you can see on F1 2020, as always. But in today's video, this is an online lobby that I did, and you can see collisions have actually been turned off. And the reason for that is that I was just getting a little bit fed up when I was racing online against people just trying to have fun when, yeah, things like this happen pretty much on a race by race basis i thought you know what let's just turn off the collisions never done it before and just see if it is any more fun and that is exactly what we are doing today at singapore 25 percent race we've got five lights here starting at the back of the grid on the medium tires and we've got a very very sweaty lobby in here as i typically always do when i host an open lobby and I just wanted to see how fun it would be to race without the collisions because honestly now i do league racing been doing league racing for a long long time and now making those overtakes is really really satisfying really fun to do and of course that's what racing is all about sometimes you do have a bit of contact as well but when you're constantly going in lobbies and just being taken out and just all this and everything it just really kind of stops you having the fun where you're just not able to race and i just decided to just do this just to see and at the moment it is very very difficult to see driving inside one another you still have the dirty air but you actually still have the slipstream as well when you're directly behind another car we're using the multiplayer cars as well and i think we are all running pretty sure we we're running all stock setups at the time or the, the preset we could just change uh anything on the preset but yeah pretty much everyone's running the same setup as well and i just thought this would just be a laugh and yeah just wanted to see how it went really and with this video it'll probably gonna be a long one as well because when i do normally 25 percent races i upload the entire thing and this was a pretty pretty decent one so we started p20 i think now we're up to p13 now going into p12 and just constantly back and forth changing all the time here p11 and now we're behind mr p oh sorry mj povey 85 and this guy's connection is like he is from the moon or something this is a nightmare if you're racing with no collisions because he just keeps on going back and forth all the time and Although you don't have to worry about people hitting you, just driving in amongst people all the time was pretty challenging in itself. But as I said, there are a lot of really, really quick people in here. Very, very intense, running out very, very wide here. But Singapore, one of my favorite tracks on the calendar. We're doing it in the daytime rather than the nighttime as well, which doesn't happen too often. And I just wanted to see if it was just any more fun doing it this way rather than just being hit all the time but you can see we'll just try my best now to try and get past the purple car as much as quick as i possibly could because it was just so so annoying him going back and forth the entire time but we've already made our way up into p8 already from the back of the grid and it's not going to be easy at all because everyone is just constantly going to be having drs and slipstream on each other so it's going to be a very, very tight contest. BMG Viper X up ahead is a very, very quick driver who I've come across in quite a few online sessions now. So it looks like he's probably going to be the man to beat. I did a custom grid as well, trying to put all the really fast people. Someone's done Spinella coming off the penultimate corner. But yeah, I tried to put all the really, really rapid people who are new in this lobby at the back to try and see how far we could come through the field here. Luckily, I've managed to go past MJ Povey now, so I don't have to really contend with his really, really, I don't know if it's a bad connection, but obviously he is lagging a bit, and probably a good thing that collisions are off because he would have been a nightmare to race against. Now I've managed to get into the DRS zone. ERS is extremely hard to save around here, but the thing with no collisions again, it's, it's going to be really, really hard to pull away from people because they are just constant, constantly going to be able to not have to compromise their racing line whilst they they are being overtaken, and they're just always going to have the slipstream and with the same setups and stuff as well. It's going to be particularly hard 
to win this race so we've got to plan this out actually quite strategically especially with our ERSU so right now I'm just trying to save as much as I possibly could and in these multiplayer cars as well I notice they seem to be much more oversteery than the normal equal cars of the F1 2020 which I don't know if people agree with but it definitely felt pretty difficult to control as for and it's really 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 having a hard time trying to get very very close to the cars up ahead and I think I've said this in my last couple of league racing videos as well it's extremely hard if you're outside the half second six seven seven and again almost losing the car so not feeling particularly comfortable with the track or the surf at this moment in time and I was just trying to finish off my sentence by saying it's really really hard to get within that half a second zone especially when the car ahead of you is right up and in this case completely inside the car up ahead it's going to be very very difficult and that's why in league racing it's so crucial that you get within that six tenth zone because then you get the full benefit of the slipstream and the DRS at the same time so we're coming up behind B&G Viper and AMS Horizon the two people who has raced with a few races before they definitely seem to be the quickest drivers in this lobby so the three quickest I'd say are all together at this point in P6 now so I think some people have pitted from the softs onto the medium so we decided to go to the medium to the soft something you should probably do if you start near the back of the grid otherwise you're just not going to get the full benefits of strategy if someone else has completely lost it now I think that was Alfie who had the quickest up of the race he was on the soft tyres thinking I think that confirms that the soft tyres are starting to go off now as well they go off incredibly fast round this track it's a track that you really probably don't want to start on the softs especially for a league race they just overheat so so much and that's why I really enjoy this track as well it's very easy to go over the limit hit the wall and it's just track we have to manage your wear and temps probably much more than any other track on the calendar in my opinion so coming across the line we've done a third of this race now and we're into p5 here and you can see the leader i don't know what tires he's on he's a little bit further up the road there as you can see got a little bit of a gap i'm not sure quite sure who that is but i think he is on the soft tires here so we're in this train managed to pull away from the guys behind now i'm using the overtake button because i just don't want to be driving in amongst them so going into this braking zone just making sure i don't go in amongst people because it's very very difficult to see the apex so again just trying to get ahead of these guys as much as i can but then he gets a much better exit than me coming off this corner i'm probably going to use the overtake again you can see the slipstream when you are that close you just get so much of a slipstream in these collisions and the guy ahead is actually on the soft tires but AMS Horizon absolutely has a worldy chicane I don't know if he's straight lined out or something trying to get a good exit on the traction once again using the boost once again you can just see the power of the slipstream when you're that close that's what I'm talking about when you're under half a second you just get that extra boost sometimes it's not enough just having the DRS you actually need to be following quite closely which is a difficult thing to do in this game as I'm losing the car once again so that is not going to be doing anything for my tyre temperatures at this stage and at this point I really wanted to just get ahead of these cars because it is well the collisions are off it's really really difficult with the dirty air you can see my car just washing away there you can see how much time I just lost going through that corner dirty air is something I definitely do not like on this game so they're battling very very hard here the guy who's in second you can see his soft tires are really starting to go and i think the leader is also on the soft tires because we're actually starting to close in on him quite quickly so now it's a time where the softs are probably going to be pitting we want to be extending for another ams horizon that flashing red light normally indicates that you are under 15 or 20 percent ers so we've got quite a lot of ers to play with as well and something I mentioned earlier that it's very very hard to save the ERS around this track and at the moment I'm actually really enjoying this race because it's quite intense 
it's really hard to actually get past people with the no collisions due to the slipstream. And again, Airbus Horizon is just straight, I think he's straight lining that chicane because he just gets such a, a real exit every single time. But yeah, it's, gr it's great racing people with collisions when they know how to race. But here, it just makes it really difficult to get away. Really, really, really difficult to get away because they don't have to compromise their racing line in any way whatsoever. So now we're into P3. And I think Speedy Midget, his soft tyres, we've actually overtaken him. His soft tyres are well and truly gone at this point. So he's probably gone a little bit too far in this race. But he will be a factor towards the end because our soft will probably be going off as well. They only really last four to six laps at the absolute max. And BMG Viper, it takes so much speed going through into that corner. And you can see Speedy Midget has actually pitted now and it is just all the medium runners out on track so it's really important here just to try and limit the undercut as much as possible but what i'm trying to do here is just trying to save my ers as much as i possibly could damage i can confirm has been turned off just in case you're wondering why my front wing hasn't been blown up yet i have taken off damage and i always do that for my online sessions but i really am starting to struggle with the oversteer i think with those couple of moments have really really kind of accelerated the temperature of my tires so they are starting to overheat a bit using a little bit of a boost but still being conscious to try and save as much as i possibly can so going through the chicane absolutely love this chicane and on this occasion ams horizon i think he missed his corner cutting opportunity didn't really gain any time on me here and i think he is starting to starting to suffer on his tires as well and you can see the benefit of being that close for a bmg viper on the guy up ahead you can see we weren't really gaining anything with the drs he was actually pulling away because he's right tucked up in that slipstream so coming through into the start section very very easy for the car to wash out with the understeer go through it and i'm really really starting to suffer my tires but you want to extend this as much as you can otherwise your softs will just be getting burnt out at the end so this guy actually pits we continue on for another lap because i've got the benefit of the drs just making sure i try and get in the drs detection point of bmg viper so i'm going to try and take this first quarter as aggressively as i possibly can first gear for the extra rotation going up into the double gears using the boost once again and we are going to get the benefit of the drs so really important that i managed to get that because otherwise i think he was actually doing a better job than me on my tyre. So we've got the benefit of the DRS. You can see how quickly we are closing in. Still got quite a bit of fuel to play with as well as someone is being disconnected or possibly getting lapped here. So this is really helping us. If we pitted that previous lap, then I think our softs at the end of the race. You could see the guys before who were doing six laps on softs. They were really, really struggling. So I think he is really going to struggle and we've just got to push as much as we can but this bmg viper guy is actually really really fast i'm not actually sure who he exactly is as i said i've only raced him in five lap or 25 percent races but we've got the benefit of the drs here you can see ams horizon i think is still struggling quite a bit on this tire so you can see he's almost falling out of the drs window now so going through into the section i'm just trying to keep my tires as cool as possible still trying that half is as much ers as i possibly can so breaking a little bit longer than necessary just to try and regain that battery power going through to the sequence it's a corner where you really want to be using 3.5 gear rather than fourth or third going to his very very tricky pit entry we just about stay on track he goes off track and making a very very good pit entry almost under steering into the wall here and you can see we've still got about 60 or over 60 percent of our ers to play with which is a very good position to be with because as i said it's very very difficult to save your ers on this track so we're going to put on the softs to the end of the race coming out behind viper and just ahead of ams horizon let's see if this guy has actually got the undercut on a speedy midget since the fastest lap so he's on the fresh medium tires he's a, he's got an undercut on us and jrf that guy see he pitted a lap before us he has got a little bit of an undercut as well and i'm actually out of this drs zone i didn't get a very good exit coming off that pit entry or pit exit sorry so i'm gonna have to get back to the drs zone again 
but luckily I do have a bit of battery power to play with and I should be able to get in the DRS zone of Speedy Midget at least because he is on the medium tyres which are going to be quite a bit slower at this stage but as I said towards the end of the race he should actually be in a reasonably strong position so the key is now is to get back in the DRS zone as much as I can it's been a good charge so far from the very very back of the grid here coming through the chicane I decide to miss that curve I prefer missing that taking a nice nice late entry and you can see JR27 who pitted the lap early for the softs I think his softs are going to be going off incredibly quickly so doing a very very nice apex and he is really really struggling at the moment damage is turned off here but he's just not having a good time and this guy here on the mediums I don't know if he's pitted yet I think he has he's probably pitted quite a bit earlier you can see the power of the softs are just much much faster at this stage here so we've managed to get back in the DRS zone of BMG Viper and Speedy Midget someone else pits so I think these guys haven't actually pitted yet so we've got in the DRS zone no need to use any power here as me and Horizon are trying to trade places once again here almost losing the car so easy to lose it through here and now we are in a net P3 in this race but Viper is very 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 quick around here so getting on the DRS zone using a little bit of the boost just making sure I stay ahead of Horizon because just driving in amongst cars is a very very difficult thing and you can see speedy midget the right the red that light is flashing which confirms he is definitely under 20% ERS at that point here so he hasn't got that much battery power to play with but again if he can just stay in the DRS zone then he has a chance at the end of this race to definitely be coming back so I'm just hoping that Viper hadn't saved as much battery power as I could so I'm just really relying on just my raw speed here at this point here just not using any battery just trying to save it as much as I can for the last three laps because I know with the power of the slipstream with no collisions it's going to be very easy for him to stick with me and probably overtake me as well so He's already proven he's quite good on his tyre wear. Let's see. And you can see he is really, really fast as well. Really, really fast. So coming through into the star sector, just making sure I stay within the DRS zone. He's going to encounter a little bit of traffic. That should give him a little bit of dirty air. But that's actually going to give him DRS onto this main straight as well. So it's really important that I stay within his DRS. You can see the gap is almost like nine tenths of a second. Going through into here, luckily... That was a, just an AI ghost. Making sure I stay in the DRS zone. Once again, you can see it's almost out of a second. So I'm using a bit of boost once again. And I think I am out of the DRS zone. So let's see if I get a detection point. No, I do not get the detection point. So now I have to use a little bit of boost. Only a tiny bit. Just to make sure I get that momentum going down the straight. And you can see JR27. He is already a second behind. He's really struggling. So that's the power having us fresh off making a little bit of a mistake going into that corner but it was through this midfield section and the last sector that I was probably my strongest so going through to here try and stay as nice and tight as possible not cutting this too much missing this curb I always like to miss it as I just said really enjoy this corner try and carry as much apex speed as possible and we do get the in the detection point so again not using any overtake just making sure I harvest it for the last two laps because it's obvious that this guy is incredibly fast. We've actually broken the DRS of AMS Horizon. So now we'll be able to see what the true pace is between myself and him. And you can see he is dropping back quite quickly. And JR has dropped back to... I can't quite read that, but that is... I think that is over three seconds or even five seconds or something. And see Speedy Midget is about two seconds behind but again he can definitely be a factor because these soft tires will be going off very quickly so start off lap 12 now we've managed to get in the DRS zone and we've got within the point that I needed that I always talk about it's about this five to six temp window because anything beyond that you you're just going to get the benefit of DRS but not a slipstream but you can see here not having to use any power and since I'm closer than six tenths you can see that the sip the power of the sip stream is absolutely huge 
that is just not purely on the DRS. So coming through to this corner now, following extremely close, and this is exactly where I want to be. And you can see AMS Horizon is over two seconds behind now. So when you do not have that DRS and slipstream, you have to rely on just your raw, raw speed. And I think he did pit the same lap as us as well, but clearly just does not quite have the pace at the moment because this track is just not about the pure speed. It really is about your tire management and that is why it is probably one of my favorite circuits to drive on the calendar. So coming into here with about just over two laps or three laps to go here now, still extending that gap behind to almost three seconds and this is starting to turn into a pretty intense battle and I have to say I am actually really really enjoying this because with collisions on this probably would have been easier to attempt to win this race because as I said he would have to compromise his line and he would have to get a really good exit but here I have to rely really on just my pure speed to stay ahead and he is very very strong particularly off that last corner he is extremely strong but one thing to note is that Speedy Midget has gone back into P3 now. So the soft tyres of AMS Horizon, and you can see JR has got, I think he's had to pit again or something because he has just completely gone off the rails. And now this is the first side of a mistake from BNG Viper. And like I did in the first stint, a couple of moments where you lose the car, that can affect the tyre temperatures for the next two or three laps. And that is really what I wanted to see. So right now i'm getting into the rhythm i've gone into the lead of this race and i wasn't sure if he wanted to stay behind me to try and save a bit of his ers but now i'm just not going to use any of my ers i'm going to save it for the last two three laps and now just to really try and flex my raw speed around here so i make a really double lockup going into with both front tires so now he's going to have the benefit of the drs but I, feel, I felt at this stage of the race, I definitely had a bit more pace. Managed to save my tyres just a little bit better. So if I can just push myself to over that six tenth gap that I always talk about, then he has to rely on his pure speed and the DRS, not the sip stream. So right now, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to push it to over half a second where he will have to work that extra bit harder to stay in. And at the moment, you can see... He, he does have dirty air when you are behind as well. He is going to have that dirty air. And you can see he's almost lost the car again. So that just confirms to me he is really starting to struggle on his tyres now. So the smooth driving style that I normally use, or I've always used, definitely works very, very well around this track. And I still have quite a lot of battery power to use. So in this penultimate lap, I'm not really going to use that much or even anything down this straight. And you can see he is over six cents behind. So he's only going to have the benefit of the DRS. He's not going to have that super, super powerful sip chain. But one thing to mention again is that Speedy Midget is actually starting to catch up because our soft tires are starting to go off quite considerably at this stage. So BMG Viper has actually got back within the half a second window. So now he is going to have the benefit. This guy here is just completely disconnected. And we are coming up on a little bit of traffic, but we don't have to worry about the contact. But I think I'm actually going to get DRS from this, I think. Coming off this corner, I actually don't get DRS. I thought I would have got DRS. But see, Viper has actually gotten a, a little bit closer. But Midget is starting to really, really catch up from behind. It's AMS Horizon. His tyres have completely fallen off the cliff. So going to Star Sector, using the lead mix just to try and reduce the wheel spin as much as I possibly could. Trying to get past this car nice and early so I don't get affected by the dirty air or as a distraction. Coming through into here, I'm just trying to create that bigger gap as possible. And you can see again, I think he was held a little bit by that car. And with the dirty air, it's so hard to get close here. And I've got enough battery power for this last lap. But Speedy Midget is actually closing in extremely quickly and at this point i wasn't even aware of that i wasn't even thinking that he would be a factor in this race but again he is within half a second viper behind so trying to get a good exit we get a very good exit so i'm going to use my overtake button but i don't think he has anything to use i think he is quite low because he's not really gaining anything at this stage here so i'm just going to use the rest of my power on this lap and i think there's only really 
one more opportunity for him to get past me with the next detection zone. So taking this left-hander very, very nicely. But Speedy Midget is only a second behind at this stage. So clearly the medium tyres are working extremely well for him at this stage of the race. I'm missing this cup once again. Going through into here. Absolutely love this corner. Just trying to get a good, good exit up here. This is probably the last real overtaking zone. You can see, I think Viper has no power and his tyres are starting to go now. Coming through into this right-hander before we go into this last sector. Let's see if the gap between Speedy Midget and Speedy Midget is actually under a second as well. So going through into here, these are the only the real last real difficult zones. The speed bridge has actually gone into second place in this race. And again, I wasn't even aware of this at this stage. His tides are well and truly better at this stage of the race, making sure I don't lose it. Coming through here, using the rest of my ears, going through into the last corner. We have managed to finish first from last on the grid. And I have to say, Clears Off was actually a very, very intense and quite a satisfying experience as you can see ams horizon and jr i don't know what happened to him i think his tires have completely melted or something but yeah racing is about overtaking but sometimes it gets a little bit too much and i actually really really enjoyed that race so i hope you enjoyed that as well i hope you learned something i hope you all had a great christmas and a new year thank you so much for the support on my videos and I will catch you very, very soon. Peace.